Hello guys! So, you're probably wondering how did I end up here? Well, the other day I was binge watching Brad Mondo's videos and I came across his tutorial to cut your hair at home. I thought it would be fun to try it, so this video happened. If you want to skip the steps and go straight to the hair cutting, go here, but if you want to see the whole process, then just keep on watching. Here I'm showing you these face framing moment i tried to give myself a couple months ago but it clearly didn't work out so now i'm going to try even out my hair to the longest layer this is by no means a tutorial on how to cut your hair at home but i'll try to walk you through it just so you have an idea of what i'm doing or at least trying to do After I part my hair in two, Brad's tutorial said to locate the apex of your head, which is like the highest part of your head. So that's what I'm attempting to do here. <laughs> and then just part your hair from there. After, I'll just clip those areas into place to keep each individual strand separated. I have a ton of hair. So I'm parting the back portion in two as well, just so I can make smaller sections to, well, ease the cutting process. After I have three nice individual sections, I'm supposed to take the front piece and angle it towards my shoulder, tie it down with a hairband and lower it down to my desired length. And now for the back pieces, you're supposed to tie them as straight as possible. They shouldn't have an angle and they must fall flat on your back. Now I'm repeating the exact same process on the other side of my head. Here I'm taking out the layers to find the right length I should cut my hair into and then I even out both of the front pieces. You will see shortly that this turned out to be pretty useless for me. Anyway, now I have to make sure the six sections are marked at the same length and for this I asked my boyfriend for help. Now, I completely forgot to tell him to only move the hair ties down and not up, since that can cause the hair to be uneven, but it's okay, we can fix that later. Okay, so this is it, there is no going back after this, and you can totally feel the tension on my face from what I'm about to do. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yep, there it is. Honestly, can't believe I've just chopped that much hair off. Also, ew, look at all those dead ends. Brad said in his video to point cut, you know, to avoid like a blonde cut, so that's what I'm unsuccessfully trying to do here. Now, after watching how satisfying it is to cut hair, my boyfriend wanted to give it a go. And it was until I was editing this video that I noticed that he tried to point cut too, and I found it super cute. Anyway, from this point, you can already see this isn't looking good. My hair looks harmless, but I actually have a ton of hair, which you only notice until you have to work on it. And this is something that every hairdresser that has ever worked on my hair has told me before, and I was aware this was gonna be a problem for the two incredibly inexperienced people in this video, but I still decided to try it. Now here it is, the last section before the moment of truth. But before that, enjoy 4 seconds of me having zero distance and depth perception.
this is the perfect example of how not to cut your hair at home. Like you can see from the first moment that my hair is uneven and it looks like it has been viciously chewed by a cow. And yeah, also I hadn't worn my hair this short since I was like 13, so I'm a little shocked to see my hair at this length again. Okay, at this point I was sure I could fix this by myself. So all I needed was a pair of glasses to actually see my reflection in the mirror. And then I proceeded to cut every piece of hair I deemed uneven while putting my hair in strange angles and not bothering to section at all. So yeah, you can probably guess where this is going. At this point, I thought I was pretty much done, so I asked my boyfriend to check for any loose hairs, and boy, I only made it worse. Look how horribly uneven this is. Now, my boyfriend was scared of cutting off too much length, so he played it cool by ruffling my hair to make it look better. This obviously didn't work out, and I obviously noticed, so I ended up chopping more and more hair off. This time, I at least attempted to section it for a bit there. It's certainly not perfect, but it isn't so bad either. And being completely honest, I ended up loving it very much. What are your final thoughts on this new DIY look I gave myself? Would you cut your own hair or you'd rather go to a hair salon? I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you real soon. Bye!